to another speed build. So in this uh, video, I am actually doing a bookstore. Um, I When creating this, I actually had no idea what I wanted to do. I just knew that I wanted to use the bay windows and stuff. And I was thinking about making like an old um, like graffiti looking building and stuff like that. But it instead turns into a bookstore that kind of reminds me of the one from The Sims 3. Like, I didn't even realize that until I was taking the screenshots and I was like, oh my gosh, this looks like some, like, this looks like the bookstore that you would go to in The Sims 3. And I have not played or even, like, thought of The Sims 3 for years. So the fact that, um, this looks like The Sims 3 bookstore, at least in my opinion, um, I, I, I love that. <laughs> um, and then I am using a ton of debug in this place and Oh my gosh, I love it. <laughs> I love this so much. Um, hopefully you guys do too because I think I'm going to be using a lot more debug in my like next few uh, builds and stuff like that that I do in the future because I mean I used to go debug crazy um, in like some of my older videos and then I just kind of got out of it and just started using the stuff from like packs and stuff like that. But now I'm like back into using debug and I'm just like, it makes the build look so much better and so much more realistic. And I, I love using the tool mod to put like cars and plants outside of your lot and just, I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> um, and hopefully you guys do too. Um, because I, I think it's something that I'm going to be using a lot more often. And then right here, I'm just trying to figure out what I want the exterior to look like because like I said going into this, I had no plan at all on what I wanted to build. I had no inspiration photos, none of that. So this is just 100% pure me messing around and going crazy. Um, and I like the way that this turned out and I think I'm going to be doing that more often. Um, just like going crazy and building whatever comes to mind while I'm building. Um, and just randomly going through debug and be like, oh, I want to use this. And then taking like a window like, oh, I'm going to use this bay window. And just use it everywhere. Um, and then I'm messing around with the roof here. I don't know what that was doing. So I wound up like bulldozing that down. And just like going back in. And just going crazy. Like I don't I don't even understand how I got this. But I love it. So I'm not complaining. <laughs> um, I really like this bookstore. And I want to play in it. Like. I don't <sighs> When I'm, like, building and stuff like that, I'm always like, oh my gosh, this sucks and stuff like that. Until I, like, look at the screenshots and I'm just like, wait, who built this? Because it wasn't me. It was it was somebody else. I don't know how <laughs> or where this came from, but oh, I, I love it. And then this brick that came from Dine Out, it doesn't look like something that would be Max's match. It looks alpha, and I love it because of that. Like, it just, it looks so nice. And in my opinion, it just, it looks like something that would be for Alpha. You know what I mean? Like, it just, it looks so good. So good. I, this is definitely, like, my favorite brick in the game. Um, 100%. Um, and then we're just picking out the windows here. And like I said, I didn't know what I was going for. <laughs> and it just slowly evolved into this. Um, there is a lot of stuff that I had to cut out when it comes to the interior, though. Because typically I like to keep all of the exterior as much as possible um, to show you guys how the builds came together slowly. And then like the end here and stuff like that I have images for um, for the stuff that I had to cut out because I think I was able to keep most of the stuff in the, uh, in the like actual bookstore. And then in the apartment upstairs I had to cut out a lot of the decorations there because Otherwise, it was going to be, like, a 15-minute long video. And, I mean, that's okay, but, like, I cannot talk for 50 minutes. I can barely talk for 30. <laughs> so, there's that. Um, and then I'm using these Strangerville things, which I think I wind up getting rid of. Maybe? No, I think I keep them. I was, like, very unsure of if I wanted to keep it or get rid of it. But I wind up keeping it because it just, it looks like the roof kind of needed something there. And then I'm using a ton of ivy on the walls and I just, I love it so much. And these vampire ones, I, I love the vampire pack. I love the Rama magic pack. I am very like 
in love with the supernatural facts we get in The Sims 4. And I know that's a very controversial, like, thing because not a lot of people enjoy those packs because they're not too realistic but I love them I love them so much and I don't know why that is I just I do and I'm like clapping my hands and stuff I'm sorry um if you I'm doing it again I don't know why I'm like clapping my hands but um yeah uh, just doing a ton of landscaping and oh my gosh I love landscaping in The Sims it just it look, and when I get to like landscaping and stuff, I'm always like, oh, I don't want to do it, so I'm just gonna place random plants around and make it look good. And yet, when it starts looking good, I'm like, oh, I want to place more because <laughs> it looks good. It's just, I don't know. There's sometimes when if I'm not going in with a plan, I don't know how to do something. I'm just, I don't know. In my opinion, when I'm like starting to like do landscaping stuff it just never looks good so it's very difficult for me to do landscaping even though in the end it kind of looks good and I love it and I want to do more landscaping even though in the time I hate it it's very weird but um I do like this a lot and then I'm using these flower boxes from get famous and then some of the base game ones to make them look overgrown and just ah, it looks so good in my opinion and then I have some of these pipes on the walls and stuff. It just, it looks like something that is sort of realistic. And it looks like the one from The Sims 3. <laughs> um, and then a ton more ivy and stuff. Um, I also wind up using the, uh, the Get Together Well that I never used before. That I, like, don't use because you can't, I, I don't know, you can't really find a good place for it. But... I like the way it turned out. I think it looks decent. Um, and then I had to extend this portion right here in the back so that I could have the window above it and stuff. And then I'm just doing some more ivy and stuff. And I wind up putting a door um, going into where the stairs are on the side over here. So I, I eventually wind up putting planners down and stuff in the back here on the side. I have these tables here as well, um, but those planners that I eventually put over, I wind up moving and putting a door there to get into where the stairs are. Um, there's also a door on the interior to get to the stairs, but I wanted a place where they could just walk out and uh, from their thing and then I have to go through the bookstore. And then I have these, uh, I have a bench and stuff, and then I was thinking about putting um, a uh, that debug um, like, uh, it's not a canopy, um, I don't know the word for it, but, like, this gray metal, um, thing from Debug on, by, uh, in the back, but I wound up, uh, not keeping that. <laughs> um, and then I'm using these cats and dogs, uh, the cat and dog light posts and stuff, and I just, I like the way that it turned out. And then here I am trying to figure out the floor plan, and right there is where the wishing well from Get Famous is. Um, I also keep the brick. There's a lot of stuff in here that I never use, like the brick stairs and um, just debug and just the wishing well. There's just a lot of stuff in this build that I never used before. And I think it's just because I don't really under, I don't really know how to use the items, so I just never use them. But I just, I really like the way that this turned out, and I think it's, like, it looks so good, and I want to play in it. <laughs> I want to have a writer who owns a bookstore, and is, yeah. <laughs> but definitely for this build, I imagined that a, um, I imagined that an older, like, elder, um, worked here, uh, and that there was a grandchild, <clears throat> I, have, I mentioned that, like, a grandpa worked here and there was a grandchild and stuff, so I, in the upper apartment I wound up putting uh, fish hanging, fish mounted on the wall and stuff, like, he goes fishing because there's a dock right outside, and I just, and that he has a cat because, like, a cat in a bookstore, like, you kind of just have to have one, you know, um, or at least in my opinion because, like, I love animals, so wherever there can be an animal, I'm going to put an animal in the home. <laughs> um... But over here, I'm just cluttering up the entry, uh, like, desk kind of thing where, like, the mail and stuff would go where you'd, like, put your keys down. And there's, like, the metal thing that I wound up getting rid of. Um, 
But yeah, and then I put a um, half bath downstairs and then I'm uh, trying to figure out the floor plan upstairs. I wind up um, making a floor plan upstairs and then just like getting rid of it and like not touching it until I get the entire like bookstore done downstairs. And then I'm using the uh, like chalkboard here and stuff like that. I found this like beehive wallpaper and I was like, oh my gosh, I love this. But that's a lot of like um, pattern in like a small space. So it looked bad in like a small space, but I kind of love it for like a, um, a uh, different space, for like a bigger space. Um, or if you use it as like an accent wall or something. So instead I wound up going for it, this Rama Magic. Um, wallpaper and stuff. I really like the Rama Magic wallpaper too because it just it looks like something that would be here. And then um, over here I wind up placing a ton of stuff down that I wanted to use and stuff and then just placing it all around. Like I said I had to cut out some things because otherwise it was going to be like 50 minutes long um, and yeah but mainly what I cut out was uh, just me figuring um, just going through debug and going through like all of the stuff um, we like go to the show all objects and stuff like that and just finding stuff from there and then I'm cluttering up the walls and stuff and yeah I really like the way that it looks it's very cluttered in here but also like I love it <laughs> and what I don't, I don't know I want to play in it um and then I have this get together um like chalkboard thing that has a book on it and I love it and then I have this uh statue in like the yellow raincoat from cats and dogs I love it and I just I felt like it was perfect for this build I just feel like it's something that would be here you know and then here I am trying to get the books in the windows and stuff it took me a little bit to figure out how to do this because I was like what if I raise it up and stuff and like then like raise up the platforms and stuff but instead I just needed to place it on the floor <laughs> I just needed to place it on the floor and then raise up the train or raise up the platform and stuff because yeah so I wound up doing that, getting it fixed and stuff like that. It was just mainly like sticking onto the half wall when I was trying to like place it and stuff. So I just wind up um, moving them down and then placing the stuff here, uh, the books on top. And the books I went on the bookcase or on the platform and stuff, I winded up sizing up because otherwise they were like too small to see. But I like the way that it turned out nonetheless. And I'm just cluttering up these bookshelves along here. And I just love it. I love it so much. Um, I definitely can see this as being a place to come and visit. Uh, yeah. But yeah. And then I wind up putting ottomans and stuff along uh, this tape, along the book uh, shelves here. It's like a place for you to like sit down and read your books and stuff. And Oh, I used the swatch in the City Living one. I think it looks so good because, it, like, the wood actually matches. Like, two woods from two different packs match. Like, thank you, EA, for having a matching swatch for once. <laughs> that really helps me out because <laughs> otherwise, I don't even know. There's a lot of stuff, like, there's a lot of swatches, like, wood swatches that don't match other wood swatches and stuff. And stuff like that can be annoying, but this one matched, so I am happy about that. Um, and then I am just trying to uh, organize this stuff. And then this uh, composition book, I couldn't get to like delete and stuff, so I wound up uh, moving a sim in here and then like uh, getting it like it disappeared, and then I like went back into build and stuff like that. Oh, and this bookshop sign from get to work I thought was like perfect for a bookstore and then I wound up putting a uh, music thing above here and then I have a computer um, right next to the cash register as like the computer that you can use for like your actual sim that's living in the apartment because there's no computers upstairs in the apartment so that's like th this is the only computer on the lot um, but I like the way that it looks I wound up like putting the chair right there and it's, I, I like the way that it looks a lot um, and then I'm just placing books down on top of the shelf, trying to get it to work. And then I'm using the OMSP shelf um, over here to just kind of help me raise the books up and get them to the height that I would like them to be. Um, but yeah. And then I am just placing more, uh, trying to figure out how to get them um, in the right uh, place and stuff. And then I am just 
just cluttering it up pretty much is what I'm doing and stuff. Um, I put this book end piece with like the wheel wheels and stuff over in the corner as like the discounted books and stuff that are like on sale. Um, but yeah, and then I wound up putting all of the like sciencey books or uh, fitness books um, and then, like, homework and stuff like that over here on this table and stuff. Like, it's, all of the books are pretty much, um, very, uh, organized as to which areas they're in because I have, like, the adult section and, like, on one table and then I have, like, kids stuff on another table, toddler stuff on another table, and then I have, like, science and, like, homework and, like, all of the, um, which I call it, the, uh, ones that would be skill leveling up on this table over here and I just I think it turned out pretty good there were a lot of books that I wanted to use but I couldn't um because they just didn't fit unfortunately but I I do like the way that they that it turned out I cannot talk I'm just like trying to talk so fast my I just woke up too so I mean I've been up for like an hour but I, I like just got out of my bed and actually started moving around so yeah <laughs> but hopefully I can't talk hopefully you guys like this build um because I definitely enjoy this one and I want to build in the sims but I can't because I have so much homework to do oh, I just want to play the sims but I can't it's okay it's okay I'm hoping to have most of my stuff done um by Friday that way I can maybe play it Friday night um after dinner but we'll see depends on how much I get done I'm just right now trying to like clear my computer off and stuff like that because I gotta re factory reset my computer and stuff so I'm trying to make sure that I have like all of my sim saves and everything put on a USB drive that way I don't lose it but it's just yeah which I am kind of scared of because the apartment that you guys saw last week I'm like scared of like losing my saves from the sims and then losing that apartment um i really hope that doesn't happen but it's not like it wouldn't be hard to recreate um for me to recreate it for a save and stuff it's just a lot more time that i do not have currently um so but uh i'm just working on the little middle table here and stuff just placing some more books down i will I don't know why, but I picked a lot of, like, this coffee book, and just, like, there's a lot of coffee books on this table. I don't know why, but there, there is. <laughs> um, and then I'm just placing a ton of displayed books down and stuff. And I just, I like the way that it, it turned out. I am losing my voice. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I cannot talk for long periods of time. How much longer do we have? Uh, I got 12 minutes left. Well, like... 10 minutes but yeah <laughs> I'm like lose I, I'm like starting to lose things to say and stuff um but yeah so hopefully you guys like the way that this turned out I know that I definitely do um yeah <laughs> I don't really know what else to say but um there's definitely a lot of packs used in this build unfortunately um but I, th that's kind of just like a theme that I do because I just kind of use whatever I have just to like make something look good. Um, I definitely want to do some more um, pack, uh, some more builds that are, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, I'm using a ton of uh, signs outside here, but I'm trying, I want to use some more like, uh, I want to do some more builds that are with less packs. Yeah, I can't think of the word. Maybe it will come to me, maybe it won't. But we are uh, going to start working on the upstairs here soon. I am just finishing up with some finishing touches. I really wanted to put some like boxes on the side here because I wanted to use that one big box as like a TV stand. But unfortunately, I couldn't do that because there was just a really bad shadow that came from it. But I wound up putting a table down with a with the equal living, oh, here's the bar stool that I put at the table, but I wind up putting this little end table down with the equal living TV because it just, it looks like, oh, it looks so cool. It, I just, I want to play in it. <laughs> um, 
But, like, yeah. I love doing builds like this where I can, like, see, like, the per I, like if I could see myself, like, going into a bookstore like this and, like, this... It's just... It's an aesthetic. <laughs> I love it. Um, and then I'm just uh, cluttering up this um, table over here. I put a little pet frog. Like, there's, there's like, a little frog over here. Um, yeah. It's just... I, I love it. <laughs> um... And there's just, a, there's a ton of clutter, a ton of books, a ton of just everything. Um, and then the, in the upstairs and stuff, I went up doing a ton of shelves with books and stuff just everywhere because obviously if you're, if you're going to own a bookstore, I feel like you're going to be very into reading books, <laughs> especially into a bookstore like this where there's just, it's just everywhere. But I love it so much and I just, I say that for every build though. <laughs> And I can't shut up because like I keep watching the builds back and I'm just like, oh, I'm I'm very proud of I'm starting to lose my voice. But I'm just I watch the builds back and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm very proud of like the decision making of this build. <laughs> like like good job to me, you know? Like Yeah. <clears throat> I'm about ready to start clapping again. Why am I I just I, I need to sit on my hands. <laughs> Why is my voice like going out though? Like I don't I don't understand why my voice is going out. I haven't talked at all this week. And then like the one time when I actually like start talking, my voice is just like, yeah, no, I'm dead. <laughs> like you, like it's, you've used me too much this week, even though I haven't really used my voice at all. Um, but yeah. <clears throat> and then I wound up using the space game. I think it's space game, the space game rug, um, and stuff, which I actually didn't know it came in that swatch. Um, so that it's new and I like it and I want to use the shirt more often because I didn't even know it came in the swatch until I put it down and was looking at the swatches and stuff. But here we are on to the upstairs and stuff. I definitely made it like look a little bit run down with like some holes in the wall or like the wallpapers peeling off of the walls and stuff. And then there's just some uh, muck on the walls and stuff. And then here I am having the kitchen done and stuff like that. There are pictures in the end screen, but like I said, if I kept all of the stuff in and all of the decision making, because the kitchen took me quite a long time to figure out, which I have a fishbowl here, and I never use fishbowls, but I really like the <laughs> using the fishbowl. But um, it took me forever to just figure out the layout of the upstairs here, trying to figure out what table, like even here, I'm having such hard times with decision making and stuff. And it's just, it took me so long to do the upstairs in and of itself. Like, the outside, the outside, I think, came along in, like, two hours. And then the downstairs came along in, like, an hour and a half because I kind of, like, had an idea because I saw the books and I was like, oh my gosh, it's going to be a bookstore. <laughs> um, and so I just started adding books and that was, like, the main thing that took me forever was just grabbing all of the books from Debug. Um, and then the upstairs, it just... I had no idea what to do. I just kind of like kept it bouncing around and just like trying to figure out what I even wanted to do because I wanted to have like an older style that just, it, it yeah, <laughs> it, it took a while um, for this to come together, but I do like the way that it turned out. And I also used this rug from Seasons and I never use this rug from Seasons, but I'm happy it comes in like a simple color. Like I, I always thought that it just came in a ton of, um, things or in a ton of patterns and stuff like that but there was like a plain swatch that I love and I want to use more um and I put a little cat tree in the corner over here and stuff with a bed on top of it and it's just I like that putting the bed on top of the cat on top of like the cat tree thing I like that and I want to do that more often um and yeah and I turned the couch sideways or I tilted the couch a little bit and then I'm putting this um bookcase on top of the trunk which I like that a lot like it looks like it's something that would be there like a little shelf kind of a thing I like that um and then I have like this little poster with a book on it and stuff like he's a part of like this grandpa in here would be a part of the um of like a book club for his bookstore downstairs um and the club that I'm, like, thinking of, it would be similar to the name of the bookstore because I named this bookstore, um, the Old Timers Bookstore. And I feel like he would be part of, like, the Old Timers Book Club. Like, 
I don't know. I love that idea and I want to play with this. I want to create this sim. If you guys want to see me create like this sim, let me know in the comments below and I just might do that because I just, I, I want to play this sim so bad, but I don't have the time right now or the time today to play it, even though I want to. <laughs> um, but yeah, I pretty much just have a project to do and yeah. The only thing that I have to get done um, is I have a reading to do. I have to read a chapter, but I'm going to wait to read the chapter tomorrow because tomorrow is when I have the um, lecture and I want to read the chapter right before the lecture. That way after the lecture I can take like the weekly quiz based on the reading and the lecture because otherwise I have short term memory loss and it don't really stay in my brain too long. So which is my problem. Um, it's something that I've always struggled with, but it, I'm working on it. <laughs> um, but yeah. Uh, and then I went up putting a closet in this bedroom. This bedroom is very small, but I just, I don't know. I like how cluttered it is. It, the clutter is, I just, I really like. <laughs> um, and then I put this mirror that I feel like would be like hanging on the wall, but there's like a shelf underneath it. And then I have some snow gloves um, and stuff. I don't, yeah, I was gonna say, I don't remember keeping that, um, bird, the bird, um, house, but I kind of wanted to, I'm starting to lose my voice again, but I kind of wanted to keep, uh, the, um, bird house and stuff, but instead I wound up putting this librarian girl, um, and stuff down, and I just, there's a ton of books, and it's just, it's very cluttered, and I love it, <laughs> um, but yeah, and I hope you guys like it as well. And then there are the fish mounted on the wall as well. And then I'm just cluttering up the bedroom and then moving on into the um, girls' bedroom, which I don't remember if I kept in or not. I think I just have maybe just have the um, screenshots and stuff. Oh, I wanted putting this trunk with like the books and stuff alongside and then putting like more trunks on top of the um, or on underneath the TV and stuff, putting another TV in here. There's a ton of, like, older style TVs in here. I don't really feel like, feel like this would be a person that would have a ton of, like, newer things. Like, I feel like they would still have, like, a uh, flip phone, you know? I don't feel like they would have a smartphone kind of thing. Um, and then I put a little bed in the window, and I just, I really like it a lot. And then I have the bathroom here. It's very simple, very, like... I don't want to say run down, but um, just older styles. Um, I feel like everything in here is uh, like good and stuff. Like the appliances and stuff are still good, but they're just older. Um, I don't feel like it's too too run down. There's there's some um, pieces where the wallpaper's hanging down and stuff like that, but it's not 100% like old, you know. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Um, <laughs> I didn't want it to be, like, too much. But we are on to the screenshots now, so hopefully I, hopefully you guys like this video. And as always, leave any comments or suggestions down below, and I will be seeing you guys next Friday. Okay, bye guys. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. do this every day and I'm still so amazed by you so hold me tight through the night mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's just as to Yes.
to. 